Hi, everyone. I'm sure we must have been involved in collaboration at different times, be it in the academics or at workplaces. And then we involve in collaboration with different people who have different personality, level of understanding, and learning rate. And these differences among people collaborating is very crucial to collaboration in the learning space. And thus, the need to unravel the dynamics of collaborative learning. My name is Tochiku Eze, and I'm a PhD candidate of computer science. Collaboration is a highly sought after 21st century skill set expected of a group of people involved in an activity to achieve shared goals. And this has found its way into the educational system and has been embedded in the teaching method for K2 students and college students. Also, collaboration has also been introduced in the workplace and such that it's been embedded in the workflow processes. And a group of employees are involved in collaborating in order to deliver on their jobs. However, it is important to highlight that there are some detractions that occur during collaboration, such as distractions, which happens when collaborators are not focused on the collaborative activity, and conflicts, which happens when collaborators do not agree or are not compatible enough. Therefore, we can see that there is need, there are a lot of dynamics like interpersonal relationship, individual differences, engagement and learning processes, alongside this detraction that needs to be unraveled and made aware to collaborators so that they can, be in, so they can be in charge of their own collaboration. And this is where my research comes in. My research is in the area of collaboration learning analytics. And sometimes you, can, you, can, you might ask, how is it that a computer scientist is more invested in learning sciences? Actually, collaboration learning analytics is an intersection between computer science and learning sciences. And it is a computer method that models the learning science theory in order to identify the silent aspect of collaboration from multiple group data sources. And then this collaboration procedure is an iterative method that involves data capture, data processing, data analysis and interpretation, such that we can generate insights and predictions from this data in order to give feedback to participants. But then, for efficient and effective collaboration, collaboration and learning analytic systems is an automated system that implements these processes. And they are embedded with technologies like the microphone and video camera that is used to capture this audio and video data during the collaboration, which are then subjected to machine learning models that help to extract this pattern. And this information being presented to students makes them aware and can improve their collaborative skills so that they can provide intervention when the collaboration is not going in the right direction. There have been prior research on collaboration. There has been research in investigating the interactivity in a discussion-based collaborative setting, and also research to evaluate the performance of students in a collaborative problem-solving task. However, my research is, involved, is focused on collaboration literacy, which has to do with providing students with enough information to make them conscious and aware of their own collaboration, and then can be able to also provide intervention when collaboration is not going in the right direction. And in my lab, we're able to develop a collaboration learning analytic tool called Blink. It's a web-based system that tracks the discussion that goes on during collaboration. And from the discussion timeline, we can see that the green represents when someone is, when a student is talking. And then the orange represents when a student is asking question. Why the white represents when a student is silent. So this written information presented to students helps them to, be, to know when he or she is more focused in the collaboration or when the person is distracted. Now this information can be, is, trans, is transformed into text for further analysis. And in this, from this text data, we can extract the keyword, we can detect keyword, which shows the level of 
expertise or understanding of the subject of discussion by the student. And then the discussion features highlight the behavioral pattern of the student such that we can see the emotional tone, the confusion, or the analytic uh, method, uh, um, skills of the student. So this student, having this real-time information, can be able to know when things are going out of place, and then can adjust in order to make sure that he ensures quality collaboration. Therefore, students can leverage collaboration learning analytic system in order to be more aware of their collaboration so that they can provide intervention for themselves. And also teachers can also use this system to monitor the group of students and then use the feedback provided by, by, by this system to know when a particular group needs help and can provide prompt and instant intervention to ensure quality collaboration in order to maximize the gains of learning. Thank you.